I want to bring in Ryan Payne for this. Payne, Capital Management President. OK, uh, this is perfect. Elizabeth Warren just came out saying she wants a 7% tax on corporations making more than $100 million. If that were enacted, what right. do you think that would do to the stock price, to Wall Street, to the economy? I mean, I'm always an optimist, so I always believe that <laughs> business will adjust regardless of what happens. I mean, I just think that in the U.S., we just have this fabric where everyone is somewhat capitalistic and everyone figures out a way. So, you know, I, I realize you get extremes for the left and the right, but I think overall... Well, come on, you don't think it would do the economy any good, do you? I think it would probably slow the economy down. I, don't have, I can't read the tea leaves, but I think even so, American business is so good, you'd still figure out a way to be successful as a capitalist in America. That's ridiculous. <laughs> a 7% tax on corporations making over $100 million, an extra tax, just chuck it in there. Come on, Ryan, where are you coming from? I mean, I don't think you've got to pound the table. The socialists are wrong. Do you want to go and live in a socialist economy? Do you want to be a stock market analyst? Do you want to be a wealth advisor in a socialist economy? I mean, it sounds like a buzzkill, so no, I would not, Stuart. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, let's move on, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> to the next point. <laughs> uh, yeah, to the next point. Now, you've got three reasons why the stock market rally is going to continue. Now, that we've had a great rally so far this yes. year. And you say it's going to continue for three reasons. Number one, the headwinds of gone. What headwinds? Yeah, so what I've been calling is you have this absence of risk, all right? So everyone's focused on, well, growth is slowing this year, the global economy is slowing this year, and that's where the focus has been. And I think where the real focus needs to be, we just had two of the biggest headwinds essentially disappear. Look, the China deal looks very good. It's yep. probably going to come to fruition, right, at this yep. point. And number two, the Fed came out again and just said, basically, interest rates are not going up this year. So that accommodative Fed okay. still exists. Those risks are off the table, and they so were the big fears. They're gone. Two of those big risks are gone. Okay, the second reason why you think the market rally continues. Yes. It's a very strong economy. Well, I assume you think it's going to continue. I do. Yeah. And, I, and that's the one thing we've seen this year is the economic data keeps coming in solid, right? It's not coming in. We're not, it's not blowing the doors off, but it's just healthy. We had another 196,000 jobs created last month. Yeah. On, you know, wages keep going up. So I think that trend is going to continue as well. There's no overheating. Okay. Number three, you say it is an yes. underinvested market. I'm not sure I understand that. Well, I blew your mind with the statistic last week, so I'll blow your mind with it again. Um, $80 million has come out of you know, global funds this year. Most investors have been selling stock, not buying, even with the S&P up 15%, and global markets up almost the same. So all the selling's already done, and that's why you're seeing very shallow pullbacks when the market actually does sell off. It's not very extreme because most money's on the sidelines. So, you know, at some point there's going to be an impetus, as you know, we just mentioned, the headwinds are gone now. Economic data is going to continue to be solid. That money has to find its way back into the market, and that's going to be invariably what's going to drive this market higher. This is really surprising, though, because this bull market is already 10 years old. That's long in the tooth for any bull market. And you say it continues. Well, it's the most hated bull market of all time. So think about this.